How many hours should my team work from home? It's a question I've been asked by just about every leader in the last 18 months. And we're gonna answer it right here on Ask Burke. Let's go. Hey leader, David Burke is here, organizational psychologist, author of four best-selling books on helping leaders and teams do their best work ever. And in this episode of Ask Burke, where we answer one question about leadership and teamwork and we do it in one take, we are answering a question from Matt in San Diego, who simply asks, how many hours a week should my team work from home? And I get this question. I get this question often. I get it more often in the last 18 months. I'm pretty sure I've got it from every team leader that I've had a conversation about remote work with in the last 18 months. And to be honest with you, I have one simple answer and then I have a way more complicated answer. First of all, I don't think it's appropriate to think of the answer in terms of days or hours or things like that. I think it's probably appropriate to ask in terms of percentages. And if I had to put a, a bet on where most people are going to prefer, what percentage of the work week they're going to prefer to work from home, I would put it somewhere between 30 and 50%, two or three days a week, or uh, let's say three to four hours a day at the office, however you wanna do it. And I base this on research from the Gallup organization that studies employee engagement, puts together their annual State of the American Workplace Survey every year, and they put out the 2019 data in February 2020, just before the pandemic, or, or before the pandemic really kind of hit in everyone's mind. And what they showed is that the most engaged employees were out of the office 40 to 60% of the time. The employees across the industries and across America who were the most engaged were the ones out of the office 40 to 60% of the time. You could think of that as two to three days, but every team is gonna be different. And this is my bigger message to you, which is I can't answer this question for you. I can make a prediction on what people are gonna want, and I think it'll be that, because whenever the pandemic is over and things get back to normal, I see no reason why it wouldn't be going back to the desirability that happened right before the pandemic. The difference now, of course, is that people are bold enough to ask for it. So almost everyone will be asking for that right amount of time. But the reason I can't answer this question is that you need to have a conversation with your team. You need to be starting to share calendars now and have a team level conversation. Your organization might actually set a policy like, oh, you can spend one day or two days or, or whatever it is. That doesn't actually matter. What matters is what the individual team comes up with is what works for them. Because otherwise you've got people working all hours of the day, which draws other people in to feel like they're working all of the time. You've got people who are taking advantage of being out of the office, taking advantage of being back in the office and some animosity that can develop between that. You need to come to a team wide agreement. So my advice to you would be to start the conversation now. Talk with your team about whenever the pandemic is over, whenever the return to the office begins for your organization, talk with them about what percentage they want and also what days or times of the day they would want to be in the office. Some teams are gonna be fine with, let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday through Thursday and everybody gets Fridays to work from home. Other teams are gonna find out it'd be better if we came to the office every day, but we only did it from 10 to two, right? Or if we came to the office Monday through Thursday from 10 to two, so that we have some time to be synced up for meetings. Whether you go with days out of the office, a core hours strategy like I just described, or something else entirely, the right answer needs to be tailored to your team based on their calendar needs and also how much they desire to actually work from home. But again, go into that conversation with the expectation that it'd be somewhere between 40 and 60%, 30 and 50%, somewhere in there. Half or just under half is probably what most people are going to desire. And we know from pre-pandemic research, BC, before Corona, right? We know from pre-pandemic research that that is optimal for employee engagement. So there's no reason to push against that. But again, nobody's gonna be engaged unless you and your team come to an agreement on what works for them. All right, thanks so much for watching this episode of Ask Burke. If you've got a question, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Maybe we'll use it on a future episode of Ask Burke. And to make sure you see it when we do, make sure you're subscribed or following on whatever platform you are watching this video on. Thanks again so much. We'll see you next time on Ask Burke.